just two quick reflections before I let Carmen finish everything. Um, the first is just how tremendously proud I am to be part of this group. And there's people in this audience, I, I think you need, to, those of you who don't do clinical trials, clinical trials are really, really hard. They're often grinding work, they're very complicated work, they're very high risk work. Um, you've got Nick and Sissy working together in, like, in Africa. You've got Francesca doing groundbreaking work. You've got people from NAMSEL and from DEFT, and you've heard all these studies. Lloyd um, involved in Vice Center, and now you've got Samiso leading with Bronwyn and with, with Joe. Um, you know, it's amazing to be part of all these independent studies taking stuff forward. And I think that we need to be pushing hard that we have these independent studies because no one else is doing this work for us. And we need to be continually fighting to build this community of people taking forward clinical trials in both infectious diseases but increasingly in non-communicable diseases. You've heard everything from mental health to obesity to probably a whole range of other problems we're going to have to um, address in the future. But the second thing is like this incredible partnership that needs to make these things happen, often in very complex areas. There's always that section in the grants the area where they say, what do you think are the risks going forward? Now, honestly, in clinical trials, like you cannot predict what's coming. Honestly, you know, a meteor is going to come. Um, you know that in South Africa, that you know we're going to have like load shedding for 12 hours a day. None of that stuff you can predict is going to hit you. And that's the problem with clinical trials, is that you really do need your friends to be your friends. And I think certainly our experience from the advanced study, where we had one of our two major donors pull the rug underneath us um, overnight in circumstances that were really difficult. And we had people that had to step in. So we had this incredible community, starting with the originators, the people who were donating the drug to us, to the donors, to the agencies, people generously giving their time to advise us, to this incredible team on the ground who were working night and day to enroll the patients and keep them there while the rest of us were trying to find the funding to keep the study going. Then to the teams in the background who were doing the statistical analysis and, and running the labs and putting up the databases and everything. I mean, the stuff that could go wrong in all of that. And at the same time, then trying to find money, we had other donors sitting in the background, the current donors, including you know, the, the, um, the, the, um, the one originator saying, listen, come and talk to us if you're running out of money. The study is too important to fail because of, what, of what's happened. And I think that's the thing is that when you have these, these um, investigator initiated large scale studies, you do rely heavily on a massive often international teamwork that goes on um, in the background. So um, I need to thank everybody who was involved in our, uh, in our initiative because it would never have happened. There's no one person who has the skill set to even vaguely pull this off. You have to have a village. You need a city of like people with that kind of level of skill and that amount of goodwill to actually pull these things off. So. Yeah, just to go forward, those of you who do want to go into this field, you need to build those relationships and understand you're going to be able to need to draw everybody together to help and support you going forward. So I'll leave it there. Thank you.